So you're thinking about moving to Tampa, Florida, and you keep asking yourself, where should I live? You've probably come across a ton of great resources online regarding the different areas or different neighborhoods, but things are still a bit unclear. At this point, you might have questions like, what area is the best fit for my family? And you're trying to compartmentalize things into, what are the safe areas? Proximity to things that are important. Should I look at new homes or are resale homes okay? And I'd like the idea of Tampa and all it has to offer, but I don't really wanna live right in the middle of the city. Well, here's what I've got for you. I recently shot this video about the top neighborhoods in Tampa in case you do wanna live in the city, but for those of you that want that suburban lifestyle or want newer construction with all the bells and whistles and want help figuring out which area is right for you, this video is all about the Tampa suburbs and I'm gonna do my best to break down each and every area for you. So stay tuned. All right, so the number one question I get from you guys is, where should I live in Tampa? Where are the good places to live? And that answers varies so much based on your lifestyle. So it's very different answer from person to person. Some of the questions that you have to ask yourself is, do you work from home or do you have to go into the office and wanna be a certain distance from the office? Or are schools important because you have kiddos? Do you wanna be close to downtown or have easy access to the beaches? And how often will you actually be visiting these areas? Is it really important to be near these areas or more important to be near the places that you'll visit on a more regular basis? There's a lot of questions to think through when figuring out where to live, but let's just jump right into the different suburbs surrounding Tampa and explain the vibe in each of them so that you can start to narrow things down, you know, that best fit your lifestyle. Along the way, I'm gonna do my best to explain proximity to major attractions and landmarks and show you a few homes and opportunities so you have an idea of what to expect. Starting just on the outskirts of the city, Carrollwood is the creme de la creme of suburbs, the original OG, if you will. Built in the 60s and 70s, it has over 4,500 homes with a massive ski lake and a man-made beach, along with a championship golf course and a brand new park for them kiddos. Living in Carrollwood is a dream come true for locals, but you have to be open-minded to renovating a home because they are 1970s homes after all. And you won't find many new construction homes in this area, but you will have easy access to the city and living right off of Del Mabry Highway, you have all the amenities you could want right at your fingertips. To the west of this area, West Chase wore the crown in the 90s when it first started well into the early 2000s. It has over 20 villages or neighborhoods and is well known for having a well manicured look. There's plenty of parks to enjoy, trails to walk, and the shops and restaurants at the West Chase Village gives its residents something unique where they can walk or bike over for a morning coffee or evening dinner. The championship golf course is a nice bonus and families choose to live here for those A-rated schools. North from here, we enter into Pasco County. You can take the Veterans Expressway north from the Tampa airport around 25 minutes and make it into Lutes, Odessa, and Landa Lakes. These are three of Pasco County's most popular suburbs and people choose to move to Pasco for its amazing master plan communities along with A and B rated schools. For those of you that need easy access to the airport, living along the Veterans Expressway would make sense, but keep in mind the drive into downtown Tampa would be a bit longer if you visit often. You could also be a tad closer to the beaches than living in the eastern suburbs, but would still have at least a 45 minute drive. I personally lived in Lutz and loved living in the community of Cheval. It was built in the 90s, but was one of the safest communities in all of Tampa being guard gated. And we loved being a golf cart community, having access to two golf courses, the clubhouse for dinner, and we enjoyed all the wildlife that we would see from day to day. In Lutz, you'll find lakefront living, Homes not in a community setting with a little extra land and newer pocket communities, but they are limited as this area is closer to Tampa and was built out years ago. I've also helped many families move to this area and they rave about the Steinbrenner High School along with those feeder schools if you do have kids. Odessa, it's a bit north from here and a much smaller of an area, but it carries a big punch. It's a much quieter setting and it definitely flies under the radar, but I was pleasantly surprised when I shot this video a few months back to learn that it was one of the greatest appreciating areas in all of the Tampa suburbs. With Starkey Ranch being an award-winning community and one of its newest attributes, Odessa was put in the spotlights just a few years ago. Starkey Ranch has now sold out of its new construction homes, but it's still one of the most popular neighborhoods and for good measure. It has an array of home builders, which gave that community just a nice variation of options. It has tons of natures, trails and parks, its own schools, and one of the best sports complexes I have seen in case you have kiddos with those athletic types. 
Nearby Lena Lakes has its own vibe going on with plenty of older established neighborhoods to choose from. But what's recently grabbed homebuyers' attention in the last few years are the neighborhoods like Bexley, Connerton, and Angeline. Bexley is a master plan community similar to Starkey Ranch with all those walking trails and playgrounds and resort style pools you could want, where Connerton is more of that same and Angeline, well, that's the new kid on the block. It's one of the newest Lagoon communities and the first in the area. It has a Moffitt Cancer Research Campus, a variety of new home builders, an on-site STEM school, and how about its very own produce farm that offers locals fresh fruits and vegetables. The three areas of Lutz, Odessa, and Lana Lakes all have great schools, easy access to the airport, and a nice variety of housing options, but none of Pasco suburbs are as popular as this next suburb. But while I do have your attention for 10 seconds, we are licensed realtors, so if you're planning to move to the Tampa area, please reach out to my team, regardless if you are interested in new homes or resale. We would love to help you and your family find your next home. Now we are here and talking about the most popular suburb of all. I remember when this area only had a blockbuster and a Waffle House, but now it has over 90,000 residents and it has the highest concentration of shopping, dining, and entertainment. Many of the surrounding suburbs drive here for these amenities, but many decide to call Wesley Chapel home just to have it all right at their fingertips without having to drive into the city or the nearby areas. This area can feel busier at times, but that's because it's buzzing right now with the things to do in top neighborhoods. Wesley Chapel is a hot spot for families wanting new master plan communities with all those bells and whistles like the two Crystal Lagoon communities, Epperson and Murata, or for those that want to live near the malls and communities like River's Edge or River's Landing, or the new Wood Creek community by D.R. Horton that is a rare find in the popular Wiregrass Ranch High School District. Living in Wesley Chapel, you have the best of both worlds as you really don't have to leave for anything, but when you want to visit the city, you can get into downtown or the Tampa Riverwalk in around 30 minutes or so. Being located on the northeast side of the city, you do have easy access to downtown via 275, but you would be opposite ends of the airport and the bridges that take you over to the beaches, adding a little extra time, so keep that in mind if either are important to you. Now, this is a great place for me to add some advice. I get a lot of people moving here wanting to live close to those beaches, but it's important to prioritize your daily and weekly activities. So, for example, my kids love the beach and we go at least once a month. And my daughter's soccer is in the city and my wife's job is in the city. We also enjoy date nights on the river walk and at the drop of a dime visiting family in the area. So since we do this more routinely, the beach becomes less of a priority for us. We can get to the beach in 45 minutes, but we're now five to 10 minutes from everything we do more frequently. Similar to most locals, we don't live at the beach. Rather, we get a beach place for a weekend or even a week at a time to just totally unwind. Many move to Tampa thinking they want to live close to the beach. But remember, Tampa has so much more to offer than that. And between the calendar of events and meeting with new friends, your weekends are going to get pretty packed. Now, moving along to the southeastern suburbs, you'll find similar new home builders and a mix of established areas along with newer areas that are still being developed and might even have a little bit of a rural feel. But remember, each area has its own vibe and will be different. The areas of Riverview and Brandon exploded in the early 2000s, and while they will have new community options, there won't be as many as if you drove just a bit further south. These two areas became popular because they're a quick 25 to 30 minute drive into the city and because they offered more affordable home options. If you're looking for new home options in this area, the popular Triple Creek community is a great option for you, and they just recently released new inventory as we started 2024. Along with this neighborhood, you can find smaller pocket neighborhoods that have recently popped up like River's Edge and Hawks Grove by Pulte Homes, as well as Bell Creek Landing by Casa Fresca. Now, I will say that Riverview and Brandon have been the most popular southeastern suburbs for years based solely on proximity to the city. But in the last decade or so, Lithia and Apollo Beach have jumped into the spotlight with the two developments, Fishhawk Ranch and Waterset by Newland. Fishhawk Ranch is still a top area to live for many, but they sold out decades ago, so you'll have to shop resale homes there. Now, knowing that, let's go ahead and shift our focus to Waterset just for a moment. Waterset is located in Apollo Beach, and last I checked, this community had over 5,000 homes built, and it was just barely past halfway completed. It has earned a ridiculous number of awards, and here's why. There are six home builders to choose from, including Richmond American Homes, which recently made their debut in Tampa, and Toll Brothers, which has a 55 plus exclusive section coming soon. 12 miles of trails, fit stations, seven parks, playgrounds, sports courts, four community pools, multiple clubhouses, a county sports complex, an event calendar, on-site schools, and multiple dog parks. In addition to this, around the corner, Apollo Beach's first 
ever modern retail space called The Yard is underway, where people can gather, shop, and dine, creating the perfect blend of commercial and retail space. So while we're here, let's pop into a few of these models just to give you a glimpse of what you can expect with new homes in the suburbs. Keeping in mind that this is an example right here in Apollo Beach, but you can find homes similar to these in many of the other communities. And make sure to stick around because after these very brief new home examples, I wanna to talk to you about some of the areas closer to the beaches. All right, folks, so I brought you here to Water Set because this is a great example of what you can find in the suburbs as far as a master plan community with multiple builders and multiple home options, right? So they're gonna have everything from your affordable, smaller homes all the way up to your multi-million dollar homes. And we're gonna start right here by taking you through the Nightingale from David Weekly. Now, David Weekly is a semi-custom builder, but this is one of their 40-foot lot plans. It's more of a shotgun style, so right under 2,000 square feet, but I think you're gonna love it. So follow me right inside. All right, folks, so coming into this David Weekly, it automatically made me think about those of you that are looking for a smaller three bedroom, two bathroom, but you still want some of those nice upgrades. So this is not the most affordable option, but it's jumping into that tier two level to where you're gonna get some of those nicer upgrades as we can see right here in the kitchen already. This home's gonna run you in about the low to mid 400,000s, and it's gonna have three bedrooms, two bath, a really nice open layout, you know, in the kitchen, you're gonna get this massive island, quartz countertops, really nice deep basin sink. And yes, this is a gas community. For those of you who like to cook, gas is king here. And we're gonna have all these really nice appliances, you know, soft close uh, drawers and really nice upgraded cabinets with those 42 uppers. In this house, you're gonna have the vinyl through the house. You're gonna have the two guest bedrooms up towards the front. And then this thing just has this shotgun approach that just flows really nicely through the home, all the way to the back of the home where you could find the master. All right, so coming in the master, again, we're gonna see those upgrades continue that we saw from the kitchen. You're gonna have the tray ceilings in the master bedroom. And then walking into the master bath, it's very traditional. You're gonna have the, the double vanity, the nice marble flooring. That's gonna continue up the wall in the shower. And you know, spacious shower here with a nice rainfall. And then again, plenty of space in the closet. So it checks all the boxes and you can't ask for much more from a 400 to 450 range. All right, so I made our way to the other end of Model Row. You can see all the models lined up, so all the builders are gonna showcase their best of the best, right? We left the Nightingale. It was a great example of what you can get on the lower end of the square footage, like 2,000 square feet, more or less, right? Now I'm gonna show you one of the big boys. This is one of my favorite builders, Homes by West Bay, and this model, it's gonna blow your mind. Immediately upon walking into the Bayshore 2 by Homes by West Bay, you get that wow factor. They hit it on the head with the tray ceilings coming through the foyer. Then you have this office space with these eight foot barn door sliders. Then as you move further into the home, things really open up. You've got this kitchen over here and check out this island with the quartz countertops flowing through. You've got the designer hood, the backsplash, the gourmet kitchen setup, And then you have this breakfast extension, which is a staple with Homes by West Bay. You're gonna see that in a lot of their bigger models. And I personally love that extension because it just, it, it, it works well with families. On top of that, you're gonna have this extra extension. I would put a wine bar there for my little wine or coffee area. And I love how they are a Florida builder. So you're gonna really see how you can extend this inside area to the outside by opening up these slider doors to your backyard pool area. All right, and I can't leave a home tour without showing you the master bedroom bathroom. So right away, you can see how much space there is, even with a king size bed. Your tray ceilings over top for that designer touch. And as we walk through the hallway here, you're gonna have his and hers, closet so no problem with wardrobe and just go ahead and look around at this beautiful master bath upstairs with the Bayshore 2 is where we get a nice treat right behind me you can add a fifth bedroom and a full bath to really create that upstairs sweet life and then you walk into this bonus room this gives the house the ultimate flexibility all right, so our third home here today is gonna to be by Richmond American Homes. And this is their debut in the Tampa Bay area right here in Waterset. Now this first home is the Palm model. And this is gonna give us a feeling of a tier one to tier two builder. We're gonna have some of those nice upgrades of a tier two, yet they're gonna be packaged like a tier one where everything's included and more. So right away, I noticed these tall ceilings. You're gonna have a bedroom right up front here, which is nice on the downstairs level to have that first bedroom. Now this home is gonna be right around 2000 square feet with a four bedroom and it's gonna range right in that four to you know mid to upper 400 thousands. And right away, while we're in the kitchen, at this price level, you have these really nice black hardware, the matte look with that hardware. You don't see some of that. Normally you see the chrome or the you know polished nickel. 
We have a nice deep basin sink. You're still getting quartz countertops, the backsplash, and again, we're seeing those gas appliances. I also like that you still have that traditional wide open layout and they give you a covered lanai. Now, let's head upstairs and see the rest of the living spaces. With Richmond American Homes, they do their best to deliver an affordable product, yet we're gonna see a lot of those trendy new features that we haven't seen in our market right up here upstairs. So as we made our way upstairs, you're gonna have this loft, which gives a second living space to the upstairs bedrooms. Right as we go into the hallway, you're gonna have two guest bedrooms that are equal size, that they share a full bath with a double vanity with quartz countertops. And follow me right in here to the master bath and bedroom. Right in here in the bedroom, Plenty of space, but instantly that trendiness. We're gonna see the sliding barn door. You typically don't see that at the four $450,000 range. And then right away we come into the master bath and I love the black matte hardware that we saw downstairs. They continued it into this framed in shower that really makes that pop. And then again, quartz countertops and plenty of space in the master closet. So that was a quick teaser of what you can expect with new homes here in the Tampa suburbs. We got to see a few good examples in the lower to mid range and the upper middle range. And I don't have examples today of the more affordable options, but just so you know, we do have everything from the low 300,000s with villas and townhomes and single family homes all the way up to multi-million dollar options. Now let's shift over to a few areas where we can access the beach and life's a little slower pace. Have you ever heard of Dunedin, Florida? <laughs> Dunedin is a popular town that's only a short trip across a bridge to Honeymoon Island State Park, which has a great beach, or if you like boating, my favorite is to relax at the sandbar near North Anclote because the water is absolutely stunning. Dunedin is a quaint and quiet area with a charming downtown Main Street area that's perfect for a nice stroll to dinner or to crawl to a nearby brewery. The area is known for its laid back Florida vibes and it has an abandoned railroad track that was converted into a bike trail that's perfect for locals that want to scoot around. For more information on this area, check out this video where I took a deep dive into the community. And if you like areas like this, but want to see more to the north, Palm Harbor is a family friendly option with pretty decent school ratings. Home buyers shopping this area tend to love that the homes have a little bit more space in between them with nice sized yards and established neighborhoods. We have so many great areas to choose from and all have their own unique characteristics. I couldn't put them all in just one video, but if you hop over to my channel, there's a good chance I've already covered them. And there's nothing more important than loving where you live and choosing an area that best matches your lifestyle. So if you're thinking of moving to the Tampa area, please reach out to my team because real estate, that's our bread and butter and we would love nothing more than helping you and your family find your next home. I'll leave our info right there on the screen. And until that next video, I'll catch you later. Yeah.